Start by opening the plugins rubber rig. For this one, I'm going to be using the better rig. You can use the better rig of mine I just made. I'm going to put the link in the description below, which is my Discord. When you go to plans and updates and check the pin message, you will see where the better rig is. Click download file and insert the rig file by clicking the model. It's going to pop out this. Up next, click the new tuned file. If you want to rotate, press R. If you want to change axis, press R again. So when I first do my animation, I pose them. Let's say he is fighting an opponent. So I'm going to duplicate the, the rig. First you want to pose the, the rig first. And I'm going to pose the second guy. Let's say this person wants to knock him out. So if you want to add to keyframe, just double click. There you go. The main control is purpose. Uh, you can move the rig more efficiently and more, a lot easier. You want to bring up the onion skin by pressing B. This time we're going to use the main controller for movement. We're going to do the second rig first. You want to pose him as well course he's about to defend himself he throws the punch or make it shorter to make it faster there you go it's that simple now we're gonna do the magic M by pressing M press on the keyframe where you want to smooth out your animation just highlight them and press M to double the keyframe and this is the final result it's very simple and very easy to make so Never a lot, put a lot of effort on this one. So, next up is camera placement. Click camera, add, adjust the field of view of your choice. Mine is gonna be 30. Place your camera, make sure everything is clear. I'll put mine right here. So, by double clicking, add another keyframe. It slowly goes up. The camera pans out slightly over here. And slide rotation move your camera a bit place your camera again punches slowly goes back this is how we're gonna look if you want to bump it up uh, what I do mine is I select all the keyframes shift K toggle the wiggle one 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 seven control shift U to ungroup select all the keyframes and press M to smooth it out and there you go now for a cinematic uh, camera it's very simple you just place your camera right here basic camera movement so I place a keyframe and another one over here and that's it it's good for a showcase and everything experiment when you can all right hit save and after that save and close that's it for this one, I'm going to be using the Alec Wires face pack, also in the link description. Now for this one, you're going to select the face part by holding Alt, click plus, select everything, eye, mouth, and brows, unselect transparency, texture, OK. Now, when you want to change your face, you add a constant keyframe. Let's say you want to change the eyes, he wants to blink. so. Yeah, two kick frames. One is the other one that blinks. You click on the face. You copy this uh, link. You paste it in and press OK. And then he blinks. There you go. That's just simple. So, what about the mount? So, let's say you want to learn to talk. What I do with mine is I, I just basically like open the mount and that's it. Static look. Let's move on to the sounds. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Lunar Sound, which is a free plugin. Click on Lunar Sound, click the plus, and you'll see this. Press choose file, select the voice you want. Okay, once you've located the file, click on it with the second where you want to start. Mine is 0.22. Of course, it's going to stop, so let's make another keyframe over here. Yeah, well... Don't answer that. 
that's where it ends. Are you? And add the blink, of course, to make it look fancy. And this is the final result. Are you crazy? Yeah, well, don't answer that. That's it. Next stop, I'm gonna show you how to add some floats. Click on Catalog Inserter. Also, a free plugin. You go to website, find your clothes of choice. Mine is this one. Copy the numbers of the clothes, paste it in. Check both of these two. Make sure to click on the rig and press insert. Okay, we're done. So, uh, hope you learned something today. I hope uh, good luck with your animations and stay creative. Thank you for watching.